Sis, guess what? A huge confession from your lovely brother. I finally decided to get married. What, you getting married? I proposed to my girlfriend the other day and she said yes. So we are going to have a wedding and file registration this year. Ugh, congratulations, Tristan. Well, are you gonna introduce her to the family then? You'll introduce me to her, right? Well, that's actually why I'm calling you. I want to have a dinner party with both families at the end of the month. And at the dinner, can you please um, not say a word to my fiancé, Allison? What do you mean? I can't even say hello to her? She doesn't like you. She doesn't even want to have dinner with you. But I know we can't do that. So I asked her to come, but I told her she doesn't have to talk to you. I don't understand. Why does she not like me? I've never even met your girlfriend. Actually, Allison is what you might call a daughter of a very wealthy family. Her family owns a big company. That's why she hates people with dirty jobs like you. What? What did you just say? You see, you work in a dirty factory, right? I know you're in dirty work clothes every day. She really can't stand people in that line of work. You've got to be kidding me. And you don't actually want to invite me to the dinner? Not only that, you're telling me not to say a word to her if I want to meet her? How rude of her! Can't help it. She's a sheltered girl. That can't be the reason. Uh, I understand how you feel, sis. But please, be a grown-up here. Please, just stay quiet at the dinner. Don't embarrass me in front of her. What do you mean to embarrass you? If you're my brother, you should have said something to her. You should have said something like, Don't make fun of my sister's job. How can you not get upset while your family is made fun of? Huh? How can I back you up when you're working in a dirty little factory? Your job is so sweaty and crude. People hate those jobs and you can't blame them for that. It's hard enough for me to tell her not to make fun of you. What? I'm begging you, keep quiet for your little brother's sake. I want to marry her. But what if the marriage is called off because of you? If that happens, will you be responsible for my life? Oh, well, that's... If you can't even take responsibility, then please keep your mouth shut at the dinner party. That's enough. I'll just show up and leave right away. I'm sure that'll make you two happy. That'll be great. I'll let her know right away. I was so surprised today. I had no idea that my daughter's fiancé was Allison's brother. Such a small world, isn't it? Mm, it really is. I never thought I'd be greeting you like this. I'm surprised too. I wish I could have talked to you a little more. Were you not feeling well today? You didn't say a word at all, and you left right before the meal was served. Um, actually I was. I have a terrible allergy to hay fever and have been struggling with nasal infection. It's hard to even have a simple conversation and eat. I left because I didn't want to interrupt anyone. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm relieved to hear that was the reason. I thought it was my daughter who made you leave. What? I'm sure you've heard from your brother. My daughter is a very selfish girl. She's especially picky about who she likes and dislikes. Once she identifies someone she doesn't like, she hates them to the core. She even says things like, Don't open your mouth in front of me because I don't like you. So I thought she might have told you to go home without saying a word. Ah, that wasn't my case. I decided to leave on my own. In fact, I'm deeply moved. I can't believe that my selfish daughter, whom I had to deal with for so long, is finally getting married. She seems to have matured a lot recently. I'm sure it's because of Tristan. I'm very grateful to him. They seem to be having fun every day. Hmm, yeah, they do seem to get along. I can't wait for their wedding. I'm looking forward to becoming a family with you. Thank you for coming out today. I caught a glimpse of you and noticed that you had already arrived at the wedding venue. Yeah, I just arrived a few minutes ago. Wow, it's the first time you're messaging me in person, isn't it? Perhaps, are you trying to warn me not to say a word again? Oh, you got that? That's exactly what I was trying to ask you. I knew it. But I've decided to reconsider that. I don't mind you speaking, but could you please just leave now? I'm sorry, but I want you to disappear from my wedding now. What? I still can't accept you. 
I can't believe that a dirty factory worker is here at my wedding. I feel as if my wedding is going to be tainted, and it makes me feel sick. Oh, <laughs> what? And the dress you're wearing looks so poor and shabby. It's exactly the kind of plain dress that suits a factory woman. I would have allowed you to stay if you looked at least a little better. No, that's a terrible thing to say, Morgan. This dress is my favorite dress. Not only do you make fun of that dress, you tell me to leave now? Huh? Are you talking back to me despite your status of being so poor? That's the kind of thing that pisses me off the most, and I can't do this anymore. Ugh, what am I going to do? I don't feel like having a wedding anymore. I'm sure it will crush Tristan if I tell him I want to call off the wedding. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course, you don't want that, do you? I'm sure the poor sister can't even be financially responsible if your brother's wedding is cancelled. You should behave and listen to me. There's no room for poor people here, so go home now. A bottom-feeding factory worker like you doesn't deserve to be at my wedding. Well, goodbye then. Don't ever show your face again. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Everything will be as you wish. Then I'll say a final hello to your mother, the president, and then I'll be on my way. I'm gonna tell her that I'll cancel any further business with our factory. What? Mm, your mother's company needed certain parts that only we manufacture. Your family's company has been a long-time consumer of ours. But I can't believe that after today, we'll no longer have any business with them. It's a shame, but it can't be helped. Wait a minute. What do you mean? You know my mom? Oh, what do you care about the poor person? Nothing that you'll be interested, so just enjoy your weekend with Tristan. Well, then I'll get going. Come back to the wedding now. My mom is so mad at me. She said if you don't come back, the wedding will be canceled immediately. She does not approve of this marriage either, and she says she's going to kick me out of the house. What? Kira's usually so calm and gentle. Exactly! She's usually so mild and kind, but she is terribly angry today. I mean, is it true what she's saying? She says you're the president of a factory, and that you make important screw parts for our company's products. Is it true that we can't make any of our products without those parts? Yes, that's true. That's why your family's company will have to stop manufacturing for a while. Without our screws, the product won't be complete. I hope you can find somewhere else who makes them. But as far as I know, there aren't any. You're kidding! You make such valuable screws? Are all screws the same? A screw's just a screw, but it also makes a whole difference. We even have a patent for our product. We're the only company that makes screws that never loosen. Oh, please, Allison. I'm sincerely sorry for everything I've done. So please, come back to the wedding. I'll accept your semantic apology. But even if you apologize, it won't erase the fact that you dissed me. And I don't even have a dress to wear to your wedding. Even if I received a sincere and heartfelt apology, I still wouldn't be able to attend the wedding. I also apologize for calling your dress plain. I mean, you know what? If I recall well, it wasn't plain at all. It's not that the dress is plain. It only seems so because you are gorgeous. That's what I really wanted to say. Excuse me? I think you would look better in a more beautiful dress. So I will give you a dress that suits you right now. So don't say you can't attend the wedding. I will buy a really pretty dress for you. No, thank you. Even if it seems plain to you, I like the dress. Your mother gave it to me. I feel very attached to it that I don't need any other dress. What? Did my mom buy this dress for you? Why would my mom give you a dress? She gave it to me when I took over the factory for my predecessor. My predecessor threw a small inauguration party for me. That's when she gave it to me as a gift to congratulate me. It's very difficult for a woman to be in top management in this world. She very well acknowledges that. So she encouraged me that we'll work together as comrades from now on. She gave me this beautiful dress as a token of her encouragement. Are you kidding me? It's a high brand tailor-made dress. It's sophisticated and simple enough to wear on any occasion. The dress means a lot to me, and I've used it many times. I wouldn't want any other dress. 
Now, if you'll excuse me... I'm so sorry about my stupid daughter. No, it's not for you to apologize. Well, I still need to do something about it, even if you say so. If you don't mind, I'd like to make another formal apology. And please reconsider your decision to cancel our contract. Kira, that's really unnecessary. And please don't worry about the contract, that was all just a bluff. I wouldn't bring my personal feelings into a business discussion. Really? Of course! I'm sorry for making you worry. I only reacted to what she told me. It's okay. That's really not something you should apologize for. It's all my stupid daughter's fault. I'm so sorry for everything. I've heard all about the dinner party and everything else. And with all due respect, she is one hell of a daughter. It's so embarrassing. I know you don't want any apology, but still, please let me come and apologize to you properly. My husband and I can't let it be if we don't give you a formal apology. Really? It's okay. In fact, I'd like to ask you something in return. May I discuss some business matters with you? There are some things I'd like to review regarding our current contract. What? Have you changed your mind? And you want to end the contract? No, I won't do that. It's actually regarding the price increase, to be frank. Due to the recent high oil prices and other factors, we've been under a lot of pressure. I'd like to discuss with you regarding the pricing. If that's the case, I'll make time for you right away. Of course, we will consider it positively. Then I will contact you again regarding this matter. Yes, please do so when things have settled down. I look forward to hearing from you. Hey sis, is it true that you are now the president of the factory? That's none of your business. Don't be so cold. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. Can you please hire me at your factory? Please, you're the only one who can help us. Huh? What do you mean? Why so sudden? Actually, we're having a really hard time after the wedding. Morgan got kicked out of her parents' house. She's so spoiled and has been in a sheltered life until now. She has never really worked before, and now she is kicked out of her house. She deserves that. She put her parents' company in jeopardy. Yes, that's true, but she's in trouble in other ways too. I was going to work for her family's company after I married Morgan. That's why I quit my previous job to prepare for it, but that's all gone too. Oof, oh no. That must be tough. I had a decent job until then, but I quit the job thinking I may eventually be able to take over her family business. Then look at what happened. So please, hire me at your factory. I'm pretty good at what I do. $100,000 for a salary would work for me. What? You know how they say you get a raise when you change jobs, right? Besides, I'm your brother. I'm the family of the president, so I should be treated quite well, right? Of course not. Hell no, I'm not hiring you. Get your butt moving and start searching for a job on your own. What? You won't help your sweet little brother? No, you're not sweet at all. You never backed me up when your wife dissed me. You didn't even care to be on my side. Well, I couldn't help, but then I didn't want to provoke Morgan into breaking off the engagement. Come on, Allison. We're going to be without a place to live tomorrow. And no job too. We're really in a bad situation here. What? We were going to live in her parents' apartment, but of course, not anymore. You really don't have a job or a place to live. Exactly. I spent all my savings on the wedding, but their parents got mad and called it off. I had to return the monetary wedding gift I got, and I'm really in trouble. Oh no. You lost everything. I won't let her make fun of you again, so please, can you help me? Your sweet little brother is in trouble, so help me out. Sorry, Tristan. I don't have a little brother anymore. Huh? Yeah, your wife told me. She said not to ever get involved with you guys again. That's why I can't do anything even if you come crying for help. All that talk is nonsense. Morgan is here with me now. She says she's really sorry for everything. And she says she'd really like to be friends with you now. Tell her I definitely don't want to be friends with her. Uh... Well then, take care. I have to work at the factory today, so I'm busy after that. After that, Tristan went crying to our parents as well. They were also very angry with them. 
my parents told him until I forgive him, the whole family will not forgive him. He was basically banned from coming home, and now he had to find a job in a rush. But his salary decreased significantly compared to his previous job. Moreover, because Morgan has a completely screwed up financial value, Tristan's salary disappears within less than a day. Finally, Morgan has registered with an employment agency for her part-time job. She is assigned to work as a janitor at her parents' company. She cries every day for the situation she's ended up in. As for me, I'm finding solace in my work at the factory. The machines hum in a comforting rhythm, and the tasks keep me focused. It's ironic how the place that once symbolized struggle and defiance now offers me a haven from the turmoil in my personal life.